Now, once you've analyzed your data, you're on the home run. You simply have to fill out the experimental report and answer the questions and submit. Now, you've already done quite a bit of it on your, where is it here, planning document. In fact, a large portion of what's on your report you have already done and submitted to me for checking early and you just have to type it out from your handwritten notes. So your report, I'm just going to maybe flip screens if I can. Yep, so this is the report and how it looks. As you can see, that looks exactly like we've just had there. This here is a template for you to just fill in. It's a guideline for a scientific report. It's similar to what we did in grade eight, but it's a little bit more cut down because we're trying to prepare you for senior. You can't have as much scaffolding as you had last year. Every single one of these titles must be filled in. However, um, I realized here, must be filled in. I've just contradicted myself. The discussion that's on there and conclusion is actually answered down here in these questions. So if you answer all of these questions, you don't need to answer the discussion and conclusion. You've already done it in those questions. So from your planning document, you should be able to fill in your aim, your research question, your hypothesis, and the materials thanks to that lovely little drawing I made you do on label. Okay. Method is the one thing that I didn't ask you to do, but remember when I said write down anything you had to measure out or keep the same so that you could run the test nice and smoothly. Basically, those things that you did help form your method. So you need to basically do steps that tell someone how to make that machine in exactly the same way you did, right down to measuring the wire and measuring the water. Then you've already copied and pasted in your results table and graph. So the last thing you have to do is simply answer the questions that are at the end of the document. Okay, and once you've done that, we submit it on Gateway. And that's pretty much all that you have to worry about for this report. So you, this video is here for you to come back in and look through so that if you're not sure where you're up to or what you have to do, come back and read this. The other thing that you'll find when you look really closely is this planning document is very, very detailed. It has examples of how to do every single question on a different type of experiment. So look at the examples, look at how I've sorted it out, look at the fact that I have color coded dependent variable and independent variable so that you can start to make links between what is dependent and what is independent in my examples. So I've said dependent variable is purple and I've put the dependent variable in all of my examples down in purple. So every time I've mentioned it is in purple color and the independent variable is always in red like this. Now that color coding goes through the whole planning template. So it is very, very self-explanatory if you take the time to read it. So I will expect you to have done the work trying to read it first before you come and ask for help from someone else. So good luck people. I hope to see you getting onto this experiment as quickly as possible. If by chance you run out of time, I have spare data that you can use that will allow you to submit um, a large portion of the report, even if you haven't built the model water heater. So don't worry. Okay, I'll talk to you later.